Free Company Militia are insanely strong in the right conditions. Their armor piercing damage is very low, but compared to archers, they can actually stick in melee combat for quite some time. If you take a look at this example with three archers and two orc boys, the archers actually have a pretty hard time. And if you look at a similar situation with Free Company Militia against three orc boys, you could see that they do a lot better. They can hold the line a lot longer than archers, which means in situations where the enemy army is about equal, Free Company Militia will be trading much better. Their range is a little bit lower though, so you eventually do run into a cap on how many Free Company you can bring. Personally, I wouldn't really go above 8 units of Free Company Militia, since at that point they can't easily cover each other. Now for an example of how I would use them, it's gonna look something like this. I'll cover multiplayer later, since that's a bit of a different situation. The great thing about this formation is that you're easily able to pick apart units that try and slip in through the center. And against scarier armies like the one we're facing right now, your flanks are going to hold a lot longer than if you had 8 archers. Another bonus, once the enemy frontline breaks, is that you can use your free company militia to start chasing off enemy archers. When it comes to the AI, they always have their units on skirmish mode, so even if they are technically stronger in melee, free company company militia can chase them down and slowly whittle them away. So overall, this allows for a much more adaptive and aggressive playstyle than you might be used to. But by no means should you be spamming free company militia in the late game and definitely not in multiplayer. In fact, multiplayer is the reason why I didn't really run them that much, because mid-tier units are extremely strong against them. And it's the same situation for archers too. Mid-tier infantry is essentially indestructible against the low armor piercing of archers and free company militia alike. Not to mention, there are also two units that outperform free company militia at a very similar price point. Simple handgunners are a much more focused ranged option that does a lot more damage, and for basically the same price, pistoliers do more damage and are more mobile than free company. So really, there isn't a huge point to taking free company if pistoliers are available. And of course, I have to mention, archers are much better at cheesing siege battles than free company militia simply because of their arcs of fire. They can shoot over walls a lot easier and this will help if you want to cheese a little bit harder. But overall, in early campaigns where you expect to fight a lot of field battles, I do think free company militia are the best tier 1 options out there. But if you're still not convinced Free Company Militia can do well in campaign, you should definitely check out this friend's legendary campaign where I declare war on everyone. My Free Company Militia stacks perform a lot better than you'd expect. Anyway, special thanks to my top tier members, Rogelio, Alonzo, and Mick Riderface.